And Lyft is letting you bring your dog with you and it's called pet rides. This is how it works. They're saying there's a new man-made holiday called National Dog Day. And Lyft said that they're going to roll out a new feature designed to make rides more special for pet owners across the U.S. And they said it's called Pet Rides. And it says a service is allowed, Pet Rides is a service allowing riders to bring their pets along for the trip. Riders will pay an additional $4 fee, which goes directly to the driver. This new option aims to ease the stress of traveling with pets, ensuring that riders are matched with drivers who are comfortable with having animals in their cars. Whether it's a quick trip to the vet or a day at the park, pet owners can now bring their fur babies along for the ride without any hassle. Now, they say this is how to use the lift rides. Now, they say to book a lift ride, a lift pet ride, users can select the option in the lift app, and they say that the service is currently limited to one cat, or dog per ride. So you can't bring the whole clan with you. You got to only select one with pets required to be in a carrier on or on a blanket or at the owner's feet. While the drivers can opt out of participating, they're still required to accommodate service animals. So I think that's fair. If you're driving Uber or Lyft or you know someone that drive Uber or Lyft, do you think that they would be open to something like this? But they're saying that they have to be in a carrier, on a blanket, or at the owner's feet. But no matter what, if there's a service animal, you have to allow the dog to ride with them no matter what. But I think the Lyft driver can deny the ride, right? I'm, I'm not sure how that works. They're saying with pet rides, Lyft catches up with the competitor Uber, who has already had this feature since 2021, and they're saying that Lyft is partnering with animal shelters and rescue organizations, encouraging pet adoption with special promotions. I don't know how I feel about this, but before I share my thoughts, let's see what you think. <laughs> do you, what do you think of pet rides? What do you think of Lyft pet rides? Let me know on the, in your comments on your phone. One, I'm happy my fur baby can ride with me. Two, I don't like pets. I don't like that pets could be in a car before me. Three, pets should not be able to ride in ride-sharing services. Or four, I think this is a new stream of income for Lyft. One, two, three, or four. Let us know in the comments what do you think of this here. Do you think it's okay for pets to ride in Lyft? They're already doing it on Uber, but what do you think about this? Now, like I said, me as a non pet lover, I think it's great for the person that can allow or that has fur babies. So I don't want to discriminate against them, but I really don't think that pets should go everywhere. But I also have to keep in mind that some people don't have cars, right? But what about the people that are allergic to pets or can't do pets? And then I get in the car and I'm scratching and I get allergic or I, I, I retap something get some type of allergic reaction or something because you had the pet in the car before me. I don't know if I want that. Or what if I spill something and I pick it up and it's got the pet hair all over it. I don't know if I want that. Pets do shed. I don't think that's for me. I would want that in knowing that there was a pet in the car before me. Now they are saying to have a blanket. They are saying have it in a carrier. They are saying have it on the, have it on your feet. But at the same token, how many people are actually going to do that? I think that some people are going to say it's okay, but then I also think that there's going to be some Lyft drivers that do like fur babies, and they're going to say, oh, it's perfectly fine. And then when they drop the person off, are they really going to clean the car out? I don't know. We, we don't know that one. But this is what you guys say. You guys say, I think this is a new stream of income for Lyft. And you also say pets should not be able to ride in ride-sharing services. I do agree. It's the Lab Tech Show. Join us Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern at thelabtechshow.com. Embrace it or get left behind. All righty then.